Hello again, uh, the same project but a new day, so I'm gonna try to have those moods for having a 17x and a 6x to this Akasom amplifier. Of course, we have to open it up. So by the schematic, we have to remove this capacitor here. Let's see it better on this image. So the capacitor up here, this should be removed. And also we had three resistors down here. And this is a classic P attenuator. This is very simple to, to calculate and uh, to see what's about. And um, so far, let's measure again. You have to, okay, follow this. K with 601 on uh, ohm meters, on resistor meter. Yeah, we got the ohmmeter there. We have the microscope here. Let's find the components. Okay, the, the capacitor up there, I can't measure it, I have to take it out. This one down here, it's the T filter. This is R8 R and R9. Okay, let's measure R9 first and we have a value of 27.1 okay what about these guys 72.3 and the other one should be exactly the same 72.3 okay so both of them here 72.3 72.3 okay now we can take a look online and search for a and we have online a p attenuator calculator very simple we have r2 in our case r1 i'm sorry in our case it's this one here r9 and this is 27 27 point one and the other ones 72 point three and that gives a 7.8 attenuation. So this is very clear. As long as the, the amplifier was advertised for having a 10 dB Rx with the attenuator of 7 point something, we get to the final result 17 dB, uh, 70 decibel, you know, the maximum Rx possibility. Now, the story is that these things are so tiny, so uh, I can't take them out without my hot air station. So let's put that on. 300 and... Okay, let's have like 400 degrees. That should be enough. A little bit of flux. Okay. And let's try to take these little guys out. Oh man, it's harder than I thought. No, so it's looking like the parts are glued somehow. Okay, let's try some more. Rise the temperature, 450. Yeah, one is gone. Second is gone. And I still have this one, little one here, make me problems. Yeah, that one is destroyed already. Okay, just get rid of it. And now let's try to have the capacitor out. No, not that one. Yeah, and it's out. Here is the capacitor. Let me have that one back in place. Something else we have to do here instead of this R8 was it R9 of course we have to we have to have a piece of wire or a strap down here because we have to make the the circuit running ahead good to go but let's check the continuity first okay multimeter let's see from here to the next point here 
yeah that's perfect that's perfect and now people we have a 17 rx with 6 tx db akaso all we have to do now is to have it with a nano vna connected same story attenuator if you remember the first test was a 3.5 db amplification which is obviously bad so here are the early okay so that's that's the that's the antenna and that's the minor so this one comes like this that's the attenuator there we go and now we are good the other guy was just an adapter 21.8 attenuation let's count on that okay the cables are okay so let's test the wires first let's see what the level of attenuation and uh, we need an adapter or something so we have 21.47 dB minus 21.74 dB okay so this is the path now without the amplifier on it's very clear isn't that okay now let's hook the amplifier I want to have this a little higher to for you to have a better image of that this one goes in here perfect this one goes in here it comes like this antenna and minor the minor output goes to channel one okay people power on and there we have the readings minus 13.68 yeah minus 13.68 db and that gives um 21.54 minus 13.68 7.86 amplification let's write it down 7.68 db gain guys it's supposed to have 17 db amplification there is no way to have this but 7.68 it's much better than 3. Point something we had in the in the first test and uh, i want to do something else now i want to change the filter let's see what's happening if i'm changing the saw filter before the amplifier i mean before the p attenuator you know is this one here okay because this kind of filters they have a really bad reputation so let me see maybe that's the that's the solution well i'm afraid i can't take it out i can't take it out it's way no i just can't take it out and i don't want to risk anything uh, sometimes sometimes the parts are kind of glued to the PCB so even with hot air and it's impossible to take them out so just let it be I don't think the filter is a problem but I can do something else let me see well, this is kind of empiric I may call it to cool it down a little so far a really big disappointment so maybe 
These guys are made for only 7 dB amplification and they advertise it or sale like 17. And um, you know, Akasom is just a reseller. I don't think they have engineers do all these uh, mambo jumbos, you know, and you need a lot of technology to do this kind of things. Okay, is it hot enough? Yes, it is. Yeah, 13.88. Let me, let me have a capacitor. Bypassing the filter. Okay, there we go. You see that? Minus 14.32. I don't, I can't get anything better than this. All right. Let's see, maybe it's something wrong here at the input. The shape is pretty okay. So that's it. 7 dB, anyway, it's better. 3.5 like we had in the first test. That's it. Okay, let's hope it's conclusive. Now I'm gonna have this connected to a gateway. I'm sending some Laura Bibs. <laughs> <laughs>